advice from Uncle Jay? Oh uh, yeah, he just told me to go out and uh, play hard, you know, not think too much, and uh, have a next play mentality. Uh, regardless of what, what happens on the play, good or bad, just move on to the next one, and just have a good game and uh, have fun. How I'm, satisfying was it to maybe get out there and kind of show what you can do after a couple of years of um, performing a little bit? Uh, it, it was really great, you know. Uh, even once I moved, made the move back to DN during uh, camp, you know, I just took it in stride, you know, just hoping for the best. And uh, I never would have thought it would have ended up in me starting the first game. Uh, so I just took that and uh, took it as a blessing, uh, and I just ran with it. And I tried to make the best out of it. And I'm just looking forward to improving and uh, having more future starts in the future. How did you feel like you played? I feel like I played well. Great assignment ball. Uh, it was hard to get. It was frustrating, you know, with the kind of offense they had, getting the ball out so quick. Uh, as far as getting into the, getting the quarterback face, but uh, it was a fun experience. Uh, hopefully, I don't have to see no offenses like that no time soon, so I can give me some sacks or something. But uh, it was a great experience, and um, hopefully, I can have some better opportunities in the future. I was gonna say, how much did that quick strike? I mean, at least in the first quarter, especially when mm-hmm. they gained all their yards, it was all like little yeah. short plays. So it, how much did that frustrate you? Yeah, it's very annoying, especially for D linemen, because you put in so much work, and it's like. You come off and then you next thing you know the ball going, you run into the ball downfield, and it's just constant over and over and over again. You just like, when am I gonna get that shot? You know, the actual pass rush. But uh, throughout the game, you know, we, we had our few, few chances that we got. We had to take advantage advantage of them to kind of rattle the quarterback. But uh, it was uh, it was okay. It wasn't too bad. You you been playing over there and see Martavius my in practice. Huh? Mm-hmm. Were you surprised at how, how effective he was in the game? <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, you know, he has uh, his glimpses at practice, but I would have never thought he would have came in the game and did it. But he gave us a spark, you know, because uh, that's what we needed to push at. Against teams that throw the ball so quick, you need the pressure of the middle. kind Because they get in the face of the quarterback quicker than we can from the end. So it uh, made a big impact on the game. What did Coach Garner have to say to you guys today? Forget about during the game and it's in the heat of the moment. But after looking at the day, what do you have to say to you guys now? Uh, he said we played pretty well. You know, uh, we did what we could. You know, but it, was, it was room for improvement. He, he's very critical uh, of, of the, the little things as far as uh, steps and uh, playing on edges of offensive linemen and all that. So he's very critical, but you have to take the criticism in a positive way and get better at it. Coach Johnson mentioned that Montrevious struggled in practice. He doesn't, mm-hmm. you know, but when he's just out there on the field kind of playing the game, yeah. you kind of see that him loosen up and become the, the player we saw. Yeah, the first play he, he got in the backfield, I, I looked at somebody and I said, he, he, a, uh, he a player under the lights, a game time player. And uh, that's what I saw. And uh, hopefully we can get him to show that more practice so that he can build on that and be a, even a better game player. So uh, hopefully he can continue to improve and he'll come with maturity and experience. So hopefully he'll come along later in the season as well. So with Carl, I mean, look. He kind of came in, I think, even spelled you a few times. Mm-hmm. You know, what, what kind of impact did you see from him? Uh, you know, just against a team like that, team that throws a lot, you have to have uh, a lot of pass rushes rotating because a uh, pass rush is a, a very tiring thing. It takes a lot out of you. So it's, it's very good to be able to be fresh from the first quarter to the fourth. How hard, I guess, back when you were a freshman, how hard was that when you first you know, took the field? And you know, What's the biggest adjustment your first year when you, when you get on the field? The biggest adjustment, I think, is thinking too much. Uh, I told all them boys that my, my, my biggest mistake is trying to get out there and be perfect, trying not to mess up. Uh, the biggest thing you should do is just go full speed, 100%, and you might get lucky. More than likely, good things happen when you go 100%, whether you know the play or not. So uh, that's my biggest advice. I t- tell them boys all the time, don't make the same mistake I made with that. I know they messed up a few times, but you know, this, you feel like they're going 100% out there when they're Yeah, out? yeah. I, I, we didn't have um, nearly as many losses as I, as I thought, maybe like even one or two from the D-line. So it was uh, everywhere to play hard uh, Saturday. Obviously, Arkansas State put up a lot of rushing yards last last week. I guess what are you all seeing on film? Like, uh, it starts with the line you know, to, yeah. to stop the run. So 500 rushing yards is a lot against anybody. I don't care who they play. Uh, that, that's a big statement, and I'm pretty sure they're going to come in here and try to establish the run. So. The game will be won up front on offense and defense. So uh, it's a big challenge ahead, and uh, we have to start working on that on Tuesday and Wednesday. Darius, after all you went through last year, the way last year ended, how much, how good did it feel just to win a game? Uh, honestly, it, it felt great. You know, it, it's been feeling great ever since the new coaching staff came in. You know, it kind of gave us a new spirit, a new life. You know, and it felt good to see that that uh, produce a win, you know, it made us feel like, all right, we're going in the right way. It, it is something that we needed, you know. And everyone, you know, win, regardless of when it comes or how you get it, it, it always gives you confidence and uh, faith for the future. Well, Garner's known for being critical, but what, did he, what were some of the positives that he told you guys he saw from film? The effort. He, he loved the mm-hmm. effort. He loved that we played hard. 
and uh, he just loved that we just play hard the whole game, you know, mm -hmm. and that we uh, threw the good and bad. You know, game came down to a tough drive where we had to end up getting the interception at the end with uh, Therese. You know, there's been plenty of times we could have broke, you know, and gave up the game or gave up a big touchdown, but we kept him out of there, and uh, that's the biggest thing he's proud of.